What's good everybody, it's Jelly with Squid Industries and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do every single battle sound trick from Valorant. If you wanna learn one of these tricks specifically, then you can skip to that chapter of this video or look at the timestamps in the description, but make sure to stick to the end for the giveaway. All right, so to do the first trick, which is just the simple basic opening, all you're gonna do is hold on to the safe handle. So there are two handles on your battle song, obviously the safe handle and the bite handle. So the bite handle is gonna be on the blade side. So to do this basic opening, you're just going to hold on to that safe handle here and then make sure that you're holding on to only that handle and that the blade and the bite handle can swing freely. And then you're going to swing that bite handle out so it's now on the back of your hand and then you're going to turn it in towards yourself so that the bite handle is now facing the other way instead of the back of your hand it's on the inside and then you're going to dip down so that the spine of the blade is now over the back of your hand and then just open up the rest of your hand get your fingers out of the way so you can swing that bite handle back into place and that is the basic opening and to close the trick to close the valley you're just going to do the exact same set of movements just from this position so flick it over your hand turn it around and then flick it over your hand again but now the bite handle is over your hand keep your fingers open and then just swing the whole valley to this close position like this and then you can just practice that trick over and over again so you get it super smooth This next trick is super simple. It is the quick draw. And to do this, you can hold on to either handle. I'm gonna be holding on to the bite handle here. And all you're gonna do is make sure that you're holding on to that handle and then let go while still gripping onto that handle. You see my other fingers let go of that safe handle so that it swings forward. And as it's swinging forward, I'm going to then grab the handle that I'm holding on to with my other fingers and then get my thumb out of the way. And then you see how this handle is stalling up here. I'm just going to continue that momentum, give it a little push forward, and then switch the grip on my fingers and just make sure that your thumb gets out of the way so that you can catch that safe handle in this open position. And then again, you can do the exact same thing to get to the closed position. This next trick they do a little bit weirdly in Val compared to how we would normally do it in real life. So it's slightly harder, but the trick is basically the same as just a regular thumb roll. So if you haven't learned that already, go learn the Zen rollover or thumb rollover, and then you can go ahead and learn this version, which is how it is in the game. To do it like how it is in Valorant, you're gonna hold the valley in this open upright position with the bite handle facing you. And then you're going to use your thumb and on this side of the valley, you're going to spread apart the handles with your thumb. This is kind of an advanced movement, even though this trick is so simple, it's just a little bit weird and unorthodox to be doing that. But anyways, you're just gonna use your thumb and split it apart. And then really quickly, you're going to switch to this grip right here. So split those handles apart and then immediately grab onto that bite handle so that you can do the thumb roll over like how you normally would.
Next trick is the fan open, and it is one single fan, and then you just end up in the same position that you started in. So to do this trick, you're going to hold on to the safe handle, and then you're going to flick that bite handle out, and then as soon as it's out like this, you're going to use your fingers to twist the handle that's in your hand, so the safe handle, almost like you're twisting a screwdriver, and then just let it rotate one whole time, and then dip down like that. So you can practice this move first before trying to string it all together into one quick movement. So out, twist, dip down, and then bring that bite handle back up. You don't need to know how to continue the fan, um, but if you did want to learn this fan and the reverse fan, we have a whole tutorial for those tricks, and we'll leave that in the description. This next trick, you're gonna start off in an ice pick position. So with the blade facing down and the bite handle is going to be facing me for this trick. Um, it's a little bit more dangerous this way actually, but that's how they do it in the game. So if you wanted to do it a little bit safer and I'll show you why in a sec, then just hold it with the safe handle towards you. But I'm gonna do it how it is in the game. So drop down that bite handle and then turn the valley like this while getting your index finger out of the way. So you see how my fingers are kind of curling out like this, but still gripping onto the handle. So it's kind of turning the belly so that the bite handle here can swing up. And that is the next move. You're going to turn and then swing that bite handle up and then grab that bite handle with the tip of your index finger like this. And then you're going to let go of that safe handle that's being held onto with your other fingers. And then with your index finger, you're going to pull back and then grab the whole bite handle now and then swing that blade up and then it's going to pass your fingers and go around. So you want to swing it up and before it can hit your fingers like this and potentially cut you, you're going to bend your wrist this way. So you're going to twist it out of the way so that that blade passes and then from here, all you gotta do is get your other fingers out of the way and then swing that safe handle up. So all together, it would look like this. Finally, for the inspect animation, which is the trick that everybody probably wants to learn, you're gonna start off in the open position, then just close it. And then from here, we're going to do a behind the eight ball. So just flick the belly out. I'm holding onto the safe handle, by the way. Flick the blade and the bite handle out. Stick your index finger in now. So my index finger is out of the way. And then I'm gonna get it on the inside side of the safe handle. And then I'm going to throw the bite handle and blade around my index finger and then make a ring with my index finger and my thumb here. So my other fingers let go and then my index finger and my thumb make a ring. And I'm gonna go around my thumb and do one of thumb chaplain. So it's gonna go around like this. And then after the thumb chaplain, you're gonna catch the belly in this position. So with the safe handle in the webbing of your thumb here. And then you're going to turn your wrist like this and then do a thumb roll over. And from here, you're going to get into a whip rollover. So you're holding onto the bite handle. So you're going to do an index roll, catch the safe handle, whip it around, and then you're catching onto the bite handle now, and you're just gonna do a short stop from here. So go around your thumb like that, you do a rev thumb rollover, and then catch the safe handle in this position. So it'll go from here to here. And then keep your ring finger and your middle finger open catch it like that. And then from here, you're going to finish the trick by bringing the whole belly up like this. So you're holding it onto the safe handle, twisting your wrist up like this, and then pulling your middle finger back. And then you wanna spread your thumb and your other fingers far apart when you do this, so that when you actually close off the short stop, it closes off nice and clean, and it doesn't stall like this, and you have to 
push the belly down and that won't look as nice. You want to swing it, have a good amount of momentum and then catch the bite handle here near the end of the handle so that it closes off nice and clean. So all together, it would look like this. sec to appreciate how far ballast songs have come in video games. Now it's not just a simple basic opening, they're actually doing some pretty cool combos. So in order to further that progression, I'm going to show you all a harder combo that I think should be implemented into Valorant. If you want to learn this combo, then subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when we release the next tutorial, which will be for this combo that should be the inspect animation in Valorant. That's it for today's video. If you liked learning those Valorant tricks, then maybe you'll want to learn some other battle song tricks. So go ahead and check out our other tutorials from our tutorials playlist. And we just passed 50K subscribers on this channel. So in order to thank you all for supporting us, supporting this YouTube channel, we will be giving away this black swordfish. And all you gotta do to enter is subscribe, like this video and comment down below with hashtag squid what game you're playing right now or what game you want us to cover next with these battle song tutorials. And also follow us on our Instagram, and the rest of the rules for this giveaway will be in the description. I'm gonna leave you all with a quick flipping clip and I'll see y'all next time. See ya!